Now, distance vector metrics, if I'm running RIP or IGRP, RIP only uses hop count to determine the best path to a network. So RIP would see this path and this path the exact same because I'm one, two hops the same. One, two. So you know what RIP will do here? It'll actually try to load balance because it says, one, I'm getting RIP updates here. I'm getting RIP updates here. Great, I can get to this network through here and through here. Both have a administrative distance of 120 and both have a hop count of two. So I see this both as the same and I'm going to try to load balance. Well, I can mm, squeeze some information down here. I'm going to squeeze that same information down here. This T1 links now just became a 56K line. There's actually a name for this. It's called pinhole congestion. IGRP, though, was a little bit better in the sense that it uses bandwidth and delay of the line by default, although there are some other uh, capabilities that can be configured. Uh, bandwidth and delay, so we're going to see that this is less than this one. Even though we receive an update from here and from here, and our administrative distance is 100 with IGRP by default, it still amazes me that this is less than OSPF. But nonetheless, um, we're going to get two updates here. See, the administrative distance is the same. However, our metrics will not match. We will not use this link. We will only use this link if we're using IGRP. EIGRP uses the same bandwidth and delay of the line to determine the best path to a remote network. Now, distance vector routing protocols says how far and in which direction. So basically, we broadcast copies of our routing table in periodic time intervals. So RIP uses every 30 seconds, it's going to send its complete routing table out, all active interfaces. That's how the neighbors find information out. If there's been a change, a router says, hey, something's changed. Here's my routing table. See if you can find it. So we just broadcast every 30 seconds our complete routing table. It's absolutely ridiculous for today's networks. So it'd be really hard for me to imagine someone using RIP. Although RIP version 2, right, it's better? No way. It does the exact same thing. So we really need to be careful with our distance vector routing protocols, although there is some use for them today. Be very careful that you don't have to be, understand that you don't have to use them in your entire network. You can do something called redistribution. And in my chapter 6 and in my chapter 7 of my book, I talk about redistribution, but it is not a CCNA objective.